Let's see how we can close down applications in UiPath in the most efficient way. So first off, we'll drag in a sequence in the workflow here. We could call that close applications. It all, it's always best practice to um, name your activities as accurate as possible. Then we'll open it. We could use their um, close application here activity and then we could let's say that we wanted to close down our notepad which is here we'll indicate that on the screen and uh, let us run this file it will close down the notepad in a while and just to, so you can see it it closed down the notepad however um, we could run into some troubles uh, the troubles uh, could be that uh, the selector We'll have to change that in the title because sometimes our notepad document will have another title like uh, my document, uh, my document two, or even a title that you gave it yourself. So we'll have to edit the selector and um, put in an asterisk here. Or, and the other problem with this method is that, um, let's open the document. Let's say that we will wrote, write something in it. And now we want to close it with UiPath We'll run the file and UiPath will correctly try to close the, their program, but it will come up with this dialog box. Do you want to save changes to untitle? And that could be a problem. Um, I'll just click no, don't save. So then we could use their um, another activity called the kill process here. It. Um, it requires a process and that will uh, kill that process. However, this is uh, a problem when we work with virtual machines and we'll do that often uh, with customers. We don't work on our own machine, so this one will be a bummer too. Um, so let me show you the most efficient way to close down applications. We will uh, run the command prompt and you can find that with um, clicking search here you'll uh, type in cmd and you will get the command prompt up I'll drag it down here um, if we write uh, just um, open notepad so we could try to close that one down and we could write um, task kill slash f slash im and in the exe file of the uh, program that we want to kill in this case notepad Dot X, and this one, this command will kill the notepad. You can see the process notepad exit will be terminated. Beware that um, it won't save anything, and it is just it will just kill down the save uh, pop up. So um, this one will close everything down, and um, so be sure to have saved your document uh, before. So we want to um, make UiPath do this process since it's the most reliable. So what we do here is that we opened, first off, we'll open an application, drag it in here. We'll indicate that, and that's, this will be our command prompt here. Um, I'll just delete this too. I don't like that. Then we will click the ribbon here, edit selector, because sometimes the command prompt will be titled um, a bit uh, more different than this. So we will just, uh, Make an asterisk, or we could delete it, or we could omit it, but let's do this. Like this. And now we could, uh, we're ready to specify our command into the command prompt. So we'll uh, find a type into here. We'll drag it down here. Um, this one will, uh, we could indicate it again here. Like this, and then we will uh, write in the text that we want to um, write in the command prompt. Remember um, the quotation mark. The quotation mark. So we'll write in task kill slash f slash im notepad dot like this. This one should work. So let me open notepad first off. We'll just try the normal way. Um, UiPath will open up a command prompt, write it, oh, we have to write the 
write document, so it will be notepad like this. Sorry. <clears throat> UI path will open up another instance of command prompt here, a notepad. I'll drag it down here. And UI paths um, happen shut down. Um, Notepad.exe. Uh, and why is that? It's because we forgot an enter click here. So let me put that in. Now you'll see um, a good example of how we can um, debug our process, why it doesn't work and how we can fix it. So um, this is good, I think. We'll just close down every uh, command prompt so we can run it again. And we can see that the text document uh, here is opened. So now we're ready to run. It will um, click and enter after it wrote. You'll find the enter if you click the plus and you'll find it here. And remember to put the enter in the quotation marks. <clears throat> so it should open the command prompt up here, notepad.exe. Um, and again, we'll misspell the task kill. So that's another good uh, bug. Oh, task bill, task kill, like this. Um, so it didn't, ki it didn't kill anything, of course. Let's check now. Now it will open up a command prompt in a bit here. Now it worked. So this is good. It's a good way of showing that you have to be accurate. You have to know what you're doing and you have to um, be able to debug whenever you did something wrong, which I did here, of course. Let us um, try to write something in the document like this. It was the problem before that UiPath uh, wouldn't close down an application or at least it would come up with a safe window. So let's try to run this again. And this will it will open up a command prompt, task kill notepad x, and we'll see that uh, UiPath will correctly shut down the uh, notepad. So that's good. Um, we could write an application, uh, we could uh, drag in a close application to close all these command prompts, but that's not really the topic of this video, so we'll leave it here. However, we could do this more elegantly. Let's say that we want to kill three programs at a time or even more. Then we'll, um, uh, we'd, we won't hard code the file name here, but we will um, instead uh, build a data table with the file names in it. Let me show you that. It's quite easy. So we'll build a data table. We'll drag in the data table. In the data table, we will delete the second column. We'll edit the first. We could call the first one file name like this. And then we could write in, let's say that we wanted to close down notepad, the other programs we wanted. And remember to write the executable files here. So it will be Excel. And let's say that we wanted to close Word and the executable for Word is WinWord. So we'll write that in like this. Then we'll have our data table here, but we need to specify the output. So we'll go over here. We'll create the variable control K like this. Now we're ready to, we could call it DB file name like this. We could click our variables and we'll see that there's, there's a data table down here. That's good. Now we'll uh, need it for each row because we want to go uh, through all these three rows. So we will um, drag in a for each row. That's a command that we use a lot, by the way. I'll drag it in here. And we will have the for each row in our data table. And our data table was named db file name like this. Um, then we could um, like move it up here. Because for each row, we want to kill something. However, it's not notepad we, we want to, but we want to, um, we want to write this process like three times. So we'll, or more, it depends on the data table. Now it's three, but we could have like thousands or yeah, whatever we wanted. So we'll have a, a space here. We'll have quotation marks. Then we'll click plus. Now we, wanted to um, write our uh, file name here and that is dynamic from our data table so what we will do is throw in a vb command called row 
dot item and then we will our item is the is the file name column so let me click here row dot item and then we'll have quotation marks file name quotation mark ends and then we will have to convert that to a string like this and now we're ready to go off in a moment and then we'll have the dot exe dot enter uh, not dot enter but enter this one will um, take all of the three uh, row items which is what's notepad excel and winword and run this process one time uh, one uh, one time at each so we could save this let's let me open like notepad here let me open word and excel to show you that that this one will work and it will even work if we have a, a documented but we won't this time but i will oh i shut down um excel by accident like this there we go We'll re we're ready to run it. So we'll open three command prompts one time, one instance at each, and we will um, and I will drag the close down UI path. We can see that um, we actually succeeded. So here, here, and here. Um, the program wrote uh, this this um, uh, this command in three times. So, and again, we could write a program or we could drag in a close application and have a UI path close the command prompt, but that's really not a prop, uh, the topic of this one. However, let's say that this, this is typical, typically something you do at the end of a session. Let's say that we wanted to um, shut down everything. Um, we will have to um, write in a command prompt again, so we will just have type into. this and we will indicate uh, the command prompt here we will remember to edit the selector so the title won't be a problem because now the title is c windows blah 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 so we'll just do mysterious here and what the command we want to type is shutdown l and then an enter However, I won't run this uh, command because uh, it will shut down the whole thing and I haven't saved the video file or anything. But it was just to show you how we can end everything um, after we close down the programs. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye.